My dearly beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, I greet and bless you all in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. On this day, March 14, it is a great pleasure to meet you all at home early in the morning through this auspicious message. May the Lord bless you. Take from the book of Deuteronomy 31 8. The Lord himself goes before you, and will be with you. He will never leave you, nor forsake you. My dear brothers and sisters, today, the Lord is saying that he will go before you. If God goes before you, what are the blessings and goodness that you will receive? Now there will be an attack by the evil one. There will be accidents, plagues, and diseases that could affect you. The arrow that flies by day shall come against you. The destruction that lays waste at noon and the pestilence that walks in darkness will affect you. But if God is with you, then he will protect you from all these calamities. He will make way for you to go at ease. If the way is blocked, he will destroy all the works of the evil one, save you, and allow you to go in peace. If there is no way for you to go, then God will create a way for you. Not only will God go before you, but he will remain with you always. If God is with you, then no evil will befall you. No plague shall come near your house. That day, both Mary and Martha, after the death of Lazarus, told Jesus who came there, Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But I know that even now, God will give you anything you ask. The death took place while Jesus was not there with them. But this thing happened, that the name of the Lord may be glorified. Today, the Lord is saying that only when God is not with them will the devil bring about harm and danger. If you see in the Bible, when the Spirit of God was taken away from King Saul, he was caught up by an evil spirit. So, when you realize that God is not with you, you will end up in failure. Keep the Lord Jesus always with you, who gives you victory. Keep him always before you, so that he can protect you from accidents, disease, harm, and danger. There will be no failure in your life. You will be victorious. Dear Lord, we thank you, Lord, and I pray that you may go before them. Lord, they have many programs for today. Lord, hereafter, you fix the agenda for them. Lord, join your children when they go out and come in. As per their time. Lord, you monitor all their programs and agendas. Assign them the work that is to be done daily. Therefore, Lord, go before them, be with them in all their undertakings, and help them to fulfill the program as per their schedule. Let them hear good news wherever they go. Lord, if you are there with them, then no destruction will befall them. No cruelty will take place to them, be with them, and make them men of wisdom. Help them to walk wisely. Help them to be great achievers. Let them not be put to shame. Help them to walk with their heads lifted up. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I greet and bless you all, my dearly cherished brothers and sisters in Christ. It is a tremendous joy to visit you all at your homes early this morning on this auspicious March 14th message. God bless you. Refer to Deuteronomy 31 8 in the book. The Lord himself is in front of you. And be by your side. He won't ever abandon you or go away from you. Greetings, darling siblings. The Lord says that he will go before you today. What kindnesses and rewards will you receive if God goes before you? The bad one is going to attack now. There will be mishaps, calamities, and illnesses that you can contract. The day flying arrow will be directed at you. You will be struck by the plague that stalks at night and the destruction that lays waste by noon. However, if God is with you, he will shield you from all of these disasters. He'll give you space so you can move freely. In the event that the path is obstructed, he will rescue you, remove the evil one's handiwork, and grant you the freedom to proceed. If you can't find a means to get there, God will make one for you. God will not only go before you, but he will also be by your side forever. Nothing bad will happen to you if God is with you. No. The plague will approach your home. 
Following Lazarus's death that day, Martha and Mary both notified Jesus, who happened to be passing by, that, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. However, I am aware that God will grant you any request you make, even now. Jesus was not present with them when the death occurred. However, this occurred so that the Lord's name could be exalted. The Lord is telling us today that the devil will only bring about disaster and danger when God is not with them. As you can see from the Bible, King Saul was ensnared by an evil spirit after losing the Spirit of God. Thus, once you understand that you will fail, God is not on your side. Always keep the Lord Jesus in your presence, who grants you victory. Always put him first so that he can shield you from mishaps, illnesses, injury, and danger. You won't experience any failure in your life. You're going to win. We thank you, Lord, and I ask that you be the one to go before them. Lord, they have a ton of stuff planned for today. Lord, set their agenda for them from now on. Lord, go with your kids when they come and go. According to their schedule. Lord, keep an eye on all of their plans and ambitions. Give them the daily tasks that need to be completed. Thus, Lord, lead them, accompany them throughout their endeavors, and assist them in completing the program on time. No matter where they travel, let them hear good news. Lord, nothing bad will happen to them if you are with them. They will not be subjected to cruelty. Be with them, and endow them with knowledge. Aid them in walking sensibly. Encourage them to reach greatness. Don't let them feel embarrassed. Assist them with raising their heads while they walk. We ask in the name of Jesus. Indeed.